2022 is the year of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. This means we're celebrating 70 years of her time as Queen. How has the role of Queen changed during this time? Let's look at some documents to find out. These are looked after by the National Archives. There are over 14 million documents in the building. Documents can be lots of different things, including letters, reports, maps, pictures and photographs. The National Archives even keeps a historically important mummified rat. The National Archives is a bit like a time capsule that helps us look back into life and events of the past. The 1950s. For the first time, many families started to own cars and washing machines. Looks a bit of a mess, yeah. doesn't it? People danced to rock and roll. <laughs> Britain was slowly recovering from the effects of World War II. Elizabeth II was crowned Queen in 1953. Over three million people lined the streets from Westminster Abbey to Buckingham Palace. 27 million people watched the coronation live on black and white TV. Take a look at the plan of the coronation route. What can you find out? What does it tell us about how people felt having a new queen? Why do you think people felt that way? The 1960s. This was a time of new ideas. Young people began having a much louder voice. Many people from different countries came to Britain to work. Pop music took off. Everything seemed possible. England won the World Cup in 1966. And men landed on the moon. In 1969, as part of the Apollo 11 mission, Neil Armstrong took one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. This message from the Queen was sent to the moon. On behalf of the British people, I salute the skill and courage which have brought man to the moon. May this endeavour increase the knowledge and well-being of mankind. What does this tell you about the role of the Queen? The 1970s. Queen Elizabeth visited many countries, including her first tour of Australia and New Zealand. She made headlines by going on walkabout and talking to the crowds. Something no other king or queen had done before. Why is this important in history? What does it tell you about the queen? 1977 was the Queen's Silver Jubilee. A celebration of 25 years of her reign. The 70s were also a time of unrest, protest and strikes, with many people struggling to make ends meet. Disco was in the charts, and the decade saw the birth of punk music and fashion. The 1980s and 1990s. In the 1980s, Britain had its first female Prime Minister, Margaret Thatcher. The Queen travelled across much of the globe. She visited Kenya, India and Bangladesh. In 1986, she also visited China. What do these trips abroad tell us about the Queen's role? In the 1990s, the Queen celebrated her Ruby Jubilee, marking 40 years on the throne. The World Wide Web was invented and computers were becoming part of everyday life. The 2000s and 2010s. In the 2000s, Harry Potter gained an international audience as the films hit the cinema. People started talking to each other using social media. In 2011, the Queen travelled to the Republic of Ireland, the first visit by a British king or queen in a hundred years. As part of the opening ceremony for the 2012 London Olympics, James Bond escorted Queen Elizabeth from Buckingham Palace and parachuted her into the Olympic Stadium. Don't worry, the Queen didn't really jump out of a helicopter. She had a stunt double do it for her. Do you think previous kings and queens would have done something like this? 
What does the Queen's involvement in the Olympic opening ceremony tell you about her role? The 2020s. COVID-19 was discovered and Britain went into lockdown. Schools and shops closed and people were asked to stay at home. The Queen went on television to help reassure and unite people. She inspired the country with wartime spirit and she said to everyone, We'll meet again. 24 million people watched across the country. History is about change. By living through change, you, your friends and family are part of history. Maybe your grandchildren will ask you about the coronavirus pandemic as part of a school project. Ask your family or friends if they remember any of the events that happened during the reign of Queen Elizabeth II. The National Archives collects documents for the UK government. What things would you collect to show your life for future historians?